I'm spending my whole weekend in my pajamas. The whole thing for me is I'm trying to save you time, money, and energy. I have got a PhD in money. So like, what do I care what some random person on the internet thinks of me? In new year, new me, you gotta have some fun. God, Tim, everything you touch just like is amazing. And I want to tell that person, no, it's not. I'm only trying to make one person happy, and that's Tim Castleman. I got a fully loaded Coca-Cola coursing through my veins right now. I'm ready to get started, get excited, get hyped up, have some energy. Apparently, I lacked that earlier today when I was recording my video, and I was just doing it like this, right? You got to be excited. You got to be animated. If you aren't pumped up, they ain't going to be pumped up. If you ain't pumped up, they ain't going to be pumped up, right? Like, did he say that twice? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I am pumped. I'm excited. Tomorrow morning, not even tomorrow morning. Let's see here. Carry the two, four, seven, and less than eight hours from now, less than eight hours, I am cutting my REM cycle fucking short for you. You're welcome. You are welcome. Say less. You're welcome. What I'm saying, friends, is in less than eight hours. I am going to be on a jet plane to Havana, sipping margaritas, greeting senoritas. Odele muchacho. I have no idea what that means. You can thank WWE. That, well, I can, it was WWF for helping with that. That's not true. Here's what happened, right? Here's what's going to happen. See, I had a small suitcase. I had a little travel carry-on suitcase. I had a pack to the max. And today I woke up and I said, well... Today we choose violence. Oh, yes. And I make a video and I say, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the general public, if you would like, here's what I'm doing. Going to Cuba. Now, I want to help them by giving them all this cool stuff. I want to help you by giving you the notes to the AI uh, marketing summit, right? You can go buy them on the website, AISummitNotes.com, AISummitNotes.com, $97. Between now, which was today, and when I get back from Cuba, which will be in a week, you can, in fact, donate. I'll give 100% of the money away. And we'll do it in supplies because when you mail it to people, it's $60. When you carry it to someone, it's $21. And by carry it, I mean myself. So I put this video on and I go, look, I want to I wanna, I wanna make it grow, right? I want to take a blue chew but for donation and charity, and in doing so, what I would like to do is take this money and move from a small box to a big box. So I thought we were good. I was like, ah, hey, you know, drop it off. Maybe some people will buy. Spoiler alert, nobody has purchased so far. Life happens, right? We'll talk about that in a moment. We'll get that anger out in just a moment. My buddy Chase calls and he goes, hey, man, I saw your video. He's like, so you want to take a carry-on bag? And I was like, yeah. He goes, well, dude, if you're going to take a carry-on bag, I should take a carry-on bag. And I'm like, oh, you know what? That's a great, great I mean, yeah, sure. Let, let's do it. So little do I know. Now we got to double the order. Now, it had helped that without even asking him, I had gone and bought all the powder milk out of uh, Lubbock, Texas. I was just like, can I get all of this, please? Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Then we had to go back to Dollar Tree, make it rain in there again, which is fun that he came and we hung out. And we did all this cool stuff. Uh, that was another $215 down. I mean, I think conservatively, we probably have uh, well over 400 uh, well, well over, well, like, let's see, two plus three, that's five. Yeah, dude, probably six to seven hundred dollars between the two of us, uh, just in the supplies to take them over and, uh, you know, try to better some people's days. Not trying to better anyone's life because, you know, give me a break. I'm not going to be like, oh my God, this will fix things forever. But it's like, hey, here's some allergy medication, you know? Hell, you got, you know, next time you got to cut, use these. Uh, you know, this, that, and the other. So um, I'm excited we're getting to do that. Um, and something that keeps biting me in the ass is, uh, and this is just my perception of it. You know, it's like I took the time to shoot that video and I'd been thinking about it for a little bit, like, you know, maybe a day or two, but I'm doing it the day before I leave, 
right? There's not really a discount to help. There's just so many things wrong with the quote unquote promotion to social media that on one hand, I'm upset that no one has purchased. But on the other hand, I'm like, I can't be upset because that's just a number, right? That's just a number. It's just, you know, you throw, uh, I don't even fucking fish, but it just makes a great analogy, you know? You throw your line into the water, you throw your hook in the water, not a little hook line. You get my point. You throw whatever, the sharp pointy part in the water. They don't like the bait. They don't take the bait. You can't get mad at the fish. You're the one that put the bait out there, right? So instead of getting upset, I'm not even going to worry about it. We did what we did regardless of people's contribution. When I come back, I'll ask some questions, namely, hey, how the fuck do you do a promotion where you make all this money and help a charity, a la Frank Kern, a la ClickFunnels, and get people to actually give you money to help these people? Or should I just sit here and do nothing and expect that going forward? You tell me, boss. You tell me. So got to kind of figure it out and, you know, learn. We're just learning. And again, it's just, I feel like I'm in therapy. It's okay. These are all happy little accidents. It's just It's just a number, Tim. That number's not good or bad. It just is telling you your work, your effort was for nothing. Kidding. I'm excited to take Chase over there. Um, I'm excited to go over there again myself, uh, see the people I met last time, meet some new people. Uh, In addition to that, um, gonna try some different things. You know, one, we're checking luggage, which is awesome. Then the next thing we're trying is we're trying a VIP um, check through process, you know, it's like $35, which is great. Uh, and what, you know, they're supposed to like come meet us on the plane, um, or right, uh, right as we get off the plane. And as we get off the plane, they're supposed to meet us and then take us through customs and basically help expedite our adventure, uh, in our trip. And then we sit in a, uh, lounge and wait for, the uh, luggage to come off. And when the luggage comes off, then they bring it to us. And then they go, do you have a car here? And I go, yeah, I do have a car here. And uh, they, they take us out there. So really excited about that. Uh, and hopefully that goes like that. And hopefully it doesn't involve us being into, you know, being dragged into a small uh, unfilmed room being like, why do you have 2000 maxi pads with you, uh, Mr. Castleman? I don't have 2,000 maxi pads, but I want to tell you, I want to tell on myself, right, that I'm uh, an idiot, okay? I don't know these things. I haven't been married since 2017. I haven't had a living girlfriend, you know, or someone that I hung out with on a regular basis up until this year, you know, since like 2019. I'm pretty feral right now. I'm pretty feral. So I was just like, well, look, these people I, I see in all the blogs and all this and all that, that they need um, help, you know, and one of the things they need are feminine products. So why don't I go ahead and just order, I don't know, 18 packages of them off of Amazon. I mean, they'll fit into a reminder up until four hours ago, I planned on taking a travel size suitcase. When the box came, I had to get help to lift it in, not because it was heavy, but because of its girth. Not the first time that's been uttered in this house. Just not by me. Oh, Don Julio. Hi, caramba. You know what? I want to know this right now. Hold on one second, friends. Dun, 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 Let's see here. I got you sis in Spanish. Te tengo hermana. And then if it's if it's bro, te tengo hermano. Te tengo hermano. Te tengo hermano. Oh, I'm going to sound so white tomorrow. Can't wait. If it wasn't such a serious country, I would just come in with head to toe American regalia flag on my jacket, American pants for sure, shoes custom painted like American flags. I'd be like Don King waving the American flag as I walk through everywhere. Only in America. Only in America. Te tengo hermano. Orle Hans, te tengo hermano. Donde esta la biblioteca? That's all I know, guys. Four years of French, that's all the Spanish I know. Thank you again, family. So, te tengo hermano. Speaking of I got you, sis, I got an email. An email from the streets. I will not name this person. 
But I will say this. This is their email. They bought the notes, by the way, at AISummitNotes.com, AISummitNotes.com. By the time you're listening to this, they'll still be for sale. She bought the notes and she said, Tim, good general info, but I need step-by-step to get anything done. I really want something that involves being paid instantly without ever speaking to anyone. Websites and content take a good while to rank and begin to make any returns. Traffic is very hard or involves social media. No thanks to that. I don't like to post or interact with anyone. Monthly recurring would be nice and could be scaled, but I have less and less clue what to do. Oh, my friend, my friend, (laughs) this one's for you. Bong rips for Jesus, right? It's like half a bong rip. We're getting a full one in for you, madam. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Hold on. Well, I mean, she did to my two sisters. Females, not like attitude-wise. You know what I'm saying. Big head here. Mm. Finish off that mother's milk. I don't know what age the fart, burp, or, you know, cough combo has started, but I'm here for it. Right. Sometimes my sphincter just opens up and I'm like, I'm walking. I don't know. I didn't eat beans like in the last 10 years. I don't know what is happening biologically to my system right now. That's causing me to walk with a little squeak. You got squeaky new shoes. Oh, no. What I've got. Is the Mississippi mud butt. Back to our friend here. Listen, I understand this person because I have been where this person is right now. When I first got started in internet marketing, I remember I was on Kyle Tully's email list and Kyle emailed me about this unknown guy named Jason Fladlin and this 24, excuse me, 48 hour product creation product that he had put out. I don't know, $17.27. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I interrogated poor Kyle for at least 20 emails back and forth over said priced product. Okay, we're not talking about a $2,000 course or a $5,000 mastermind. We're talking about, you know, if you dollar cost average the replies, he made about 33 cents per email. And I interrogated him worse than what they've done on Guantanamo Bay, right? There ain't nobody that's been at Gitmo for over 20 years that's been interrogated as thoroughly as I interrogated Kyle, because I was like, I don't believe it. Is it really possible? It just seems so different than what I'm currently doing. But I bought it. Actually, I bought it right before I got married, which is crazy. I think I even bought another one of his products, Jason's products, while I was on my honeymoon. I was like, hey, baby, I know we could have sex, but right now I want to open my netbook while it dries your vagina And while that's drying up good and well, I'm going to be buying an internet marketing product from a former monk turned house painter turned marketer. And it's now, I think, holds the largest affiliate promotion ever. Like, you know, millions upon millions of dollars. A good dude, good, I mean, you know. He is the Aaron Rodgers. Would I put him up there? See, here's the thing. The guys that I revere... It's because they weren't in my class, so to speak, right? If you hear comedians talk about, they go, oh, what class were you? Oh, I started no one, you know. Jason was just a few steps ahead of me when we got started. Clearly, he has lapped the, the entire field. So uh, will I say he's the goat uh, of our um, generation, if you will, or our group of marketers? Yeah, I got no problem saying that. But what I put him, like, top five? I mean... He's not far out of it if he's not in the top five. But if he is in the top five, he's four or five in my book, right? You got Dan Kennedy, okay? You got Jay Abraham, right? You got Gary Halbert. I mean, how are you going to try and penetrate those three? And then you got a guy, a little guy by the name of Russell Brunson, who's probably run the most lucrative and successful year after year business in the IM space that I'm aware of. And those are just people off the top of my head that I haven't done any real research into. So I understand where this person is going, and I understand that I'm rambling, and that's because we took that one straight to the brain. 
what this person wants is I want to change everything about my life except change nothing in the process. I want to get skinny without having to change what I eat, my, my you know, activity level, uh, my thoughts and relationships to food, you know, where I, what I order when I go out, all of those things. I mean, really, realistically, to be successful with a diet, you have to make some what may seem to some as major life changes. And I tell you that as a recovering anorexic who has beaten it and is now working on diabetes. We're going, we're ping-ponging. We're off one wall, we're headed to another, right? Anorexia, I beat you. Down with pizza and ho-hos and all that. You get my point. You got to do a lot of shit if you want to lose the weight. You can't just be like, hey, I want to lose the weight, but change nothing about it. Because if you could do that, you would already be there. And if you like your life where it is right now, then good. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Day after day, right? We slave away. I get it. Been there, done that. Do that still sometimes, right? Bills do. Checks got to be written to you, but you got to do the work. But you can't expect to get a different result doing the same thing. I believe it's like my therapist, the definition of insanity is doing the same exact thing, expecting a different outcome. I was like, whoa, hey, don't need to call me out on that. Remember, I'm signing these. I'm not signing anything. You have my credit card number, damn it. And you just hit it when you want to. Here's my real answer to this person. If you want something that's going to pay you without you having to do any work, you need to make an investment. Stock market, private business, internet business, I don't know. But where you are just an investor and you just go, hey, here's a chunk of money. I want more money when I come back. Thank you. And every time you come back, as long as there's more money, that's a good thing. If it's not, life happens. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. What is it a temporary downturn of the market? You know. Like, I wouldn't invest in Vice.com right now, considering they filed for bankruptcy today. And from everything I'm reading, that's the tip of the iceberg. You know. But that's just what I read. But you can't expect different results. And you know this. You know this. Right? But we temporarily suspend um, our belief. And we try to do everything we can to be like, oh, man, this is awesome. This can, this can change things. And it can, just like Jason's course changed and fundamentally changed my life. But the only reason it did it is because I took the information and I put it to use. And I understand I am not my customer. Look, if your hobby is buying internet marketing products, enjoy. If you like coming to live events and hanging with other smart people and being one of the cool kids in the room, I'm here for it. If you want to hear me adjust this microphone, while well, Eric back there goes, you mother, I swear to God, can this guy... Can we get this guy on, like, some ADHD medication so he stood still and is real zombie-like? Maybe. I don't know. If they could give me Adderall without the anger, I'd be on it every day of my life. But when I, when I take the Adderall and I combine it with the anger, or the anger comes out, you know, it's just not good. It's just not good. It's no bueno. Just like this email... Love you. Thank you for the email. You can always email me at contact timcastleman at gmail.com. I'll keep your name out of it if you'd like, and I will answer your questions, but I got to answer it honestly, right? This person is, is the person that's like, I want a passive income, and I don't want to do anything. Well, if that's what you want to do, and I certainly wouldn't call it income unless you invest in the right uh, resource, go find an investment to invest into. But you're probably going to have to be a silent investor, which means thank you for the money. Now shut the fuck up and let us do the work. We'll send you your statement. We'll call you. Don't call us type thing. Which I don't know if that's something that you're capable of doing. That's dependent on your level of interest and risk and all those things. All right? I'm reading this great program right now. Great. I, just, I finished it up. I'm actually writing the review. Got started on it before we had it on the strip. And one of the things that stuck with me that popped up when I read this email was, you know, everybody has desire. Not everybody has ambition. And that's okay. You don't have to beat yourself up for that. I spent this whole past weekend 
looking online about drawing, about chess, about a couple other things I was interested in. And at the end of it, I was able to eliminate uh, two out of the three things and be like, oh, man, I thought I was interested in that, but bullshit. No, I'm not doing that. Because I had the desire, but I certainly didn't have the ambition. And on the third one, it's kind of a meh, we'll see. I don't know. Meh, we'll see. And I can already tell you now, it should probably be like a hell yeah, I can't wait to do this. So, to my dear friend here, find something to invest in or enjoy learning about internet marketing but never doing it if that's the road you want to do. But do not expect to keep doing what you're doing right now and getting a different result. And again, I'm not upset with you. I'm not angry. I totally get it. I have been there before. And I have been there since. I think I've told this before, but if not, like I bought a $1,500 program one time, paid to have it overnighted to me where it sat on a shelf for a year. I did nothing with it. And then when I was looking for some money, right? I was like, man, I got to do something to make some money. I cracked the seal. I read the shit. Then I did something with it. Then I produced a result. That's my whole career right there. That's my superpower. I read, right? I learn, I do, I teach, I repeat. Learn, do, teach, repeat. That's what I do. That's my whole business model. Can I say it one more time? That's my whole business model. That's all I do. But I had to take the leap. And more importantly than the leap, what happens when you land? Because it may not be a gentle land uh, landing. You know, you're jumping from one cliff to the other like you see in the movies. In the movies, it's nice and stable and fertile gl- ground on both. But what happens when you come down on the other side and you roll your ankle or you break your leg. Everybody wants to be the world heavyweight boxing champ until it's time to get punched in the fucking mouth. And I don't wish it on you. I don't want it for you, but it's coming to all of us. None of us get out of this life without scars. Some are physical, some are emotional, and some are embedded in our souls. And when those things happen, you got a choice. You can keep doing the same thing, hoping to get a different result. Or you can look at what you need to change or work on or add and address it there. And I'm not talking about personally, okay? Look, at at the end of the day, yes, I want everyone uh, that listens to this thing to be in therapy and to have a, uh, you know, a happy and healthy home life and, you know, any vices that they have, they're doing it for fun, not for um, addiction reasons or dependency things, you know. I want all that for everybody. But do you think when I go to Cuba, do you think if I sat someone down and said, listen, man, what we've got to do to address your situation? I know you're starving right now. You ain't got no food. Relax. We got to work on your insides and fix those. So instead of looking at this as starvation, you could look at it. Well, look, I wanted to lose 20 pounds. I've always wanted to know what it's like to be super skinny and frail. I think you get my point. So I will also say when you're starving or you're trying to make something and you just got to work on the monetary stuff, I totally get it. Let's fucking do it, baby. Let's get that money up. Let's get that money up and then let's fix what needs to be fixed. Because if you don't, here's here's the thing, a little secret. If you go up, if you got your glow up and you got your blow up, right? Sound like uh, Wallow and Gilly, right? If you don't want your glow up to turn into a blow up, you're going to have to fix or address or be be just aware of some things going on internally, especially if you see the same thing happening over and over and over again, over and over and over again. We'll end with the worst joke ever. If you're walking down the street 
and you talk to one guy and he's an asshole, he's probably the asshole. You talk to two guys and they're both assholes, he very well may be the asshole. But if you talk to three guys and they're all assholes, chances are you're the asshole. So clean yourself up. Wash your face, girl. Either invest in something and be hands off, lips, you know, lip sealed, hands off, uh, just making sure that, you know, it's growing, hopefully. Or pick everything you told me no to and just say, you know what? I already know how to say no to this thing. And if I get into this and this ain't no fun, I can always pull out and say, ah, not, not for me. I thought I want to learn product photography last year. Bought a bunch of super expensive and fancy shit. I was so stupid, I told myself no at the beginning of last year or the end of last year. I was like, nope, hate it. Don't want to do it again. I tried to get into it again. I thought, so surely, if I just do this one thing, I'll be more uh, enjoyable. And not only do I not know anyone named Shirley, nothing changed. So I had to say no. No. Remember? No. You're going to have to start saying yes to a few things. And then when inevitably you fall on your face, because you will, because you're trying something new, handle it with some grace and mercy. And do everything you can to be as kind to yourself and taking take it as a learning opportunity. And now I'm going to get off this soapbox slash mountaintop. I'm going to finish my packing and I'm going to pretend to lay down and go to sleep for a couple hours so that I can get up and head to the islands.